Okay, here we go. Good morning to you, Nick and Gotti. Hey, good morning. Stay nice close to that microphone. Yes. Uh, well, I met you recently. Uh, actually, uh, like I meet a lot of people here at the Heartland Cafe, and uh, you, you were uh, hanging your poster up. And it's a very pretty poster. It's a Peace on Earth Film Festival. Uh, it's the first I had heard about the festival. And uh, since then, I've looked at your website, and you have uh, an amazing number of films and uh, a lot of nice little clips. People can have like a little, their own little film festival just hanging out on the website. Tell yes. us about this festival. Well, I've um, uh, always been into the peace movement. Actually, you know, like most of us, got really involved in it right after the Kent State Massacre. And uh, then I helped organize the... Uh, Vets, uh, Vietnam Vets Against the War in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And, um, but I also have a strong background in, uh, in acting and, and film and television, and, and so I brought them together with this uh, passion to, uh, to help change consciousness. And so the, someone suggested that we bring in as documentarians to, uh, to do a, uh, a film uh, on, uh, on peace and that we would show it uh, at a ministry that I'm, I'm involved with. And then I thought, well, well if we're going to do that, how about a festival? And so in the summer of 2008, on Labor Day weekend, we brought in, uh, we brought in over 200 films, and we looked at 40 and, sh and screened 40 at the Biograph Theater. And so it was such a beautiful weekend, we decided we'd, we would get out of the summer and bring it into the winter. And so this year we've, uh, we, we looked at 194 films, and we're going to show 35 films at the Cultural Center next weekend, 26th through the 28th. Uh, give me a little more background on this uh, Biograph Theater showing that you had, because uh, I didn't know about this. But it's, uh, I always had thought we ought to have a progressive film festival, a peace film festival, and you're doing that. But, uh, so this is your actual second run at it? It's the second run, it is, yes. Uh, the Biograph, it was interesting because uh, we work with a, uh, a, a company that's uh, a dot com called Without a Box, and uh, they have uh, over over five five hundred. Uh, they have over five thousand filmmakers that submit to them, but they wouldn't allow us to post anything until we finally got our venue, and uh, so we got a venue six weeks before the actual festival, and uh, so we ran it through so fast it was impossible to. Uh, to even uh, spread the word, but we brought in over 300 people that weekend, and uh, it, it just was a great festival. And uh, we also brought in a film called Dalai Lama Renaissance, which uh, was uh, spiritual leaders that went to uh, to India to speak with the Dalai Lama on how to fix the world. And what happened was you saw just how confused they were and the difficulties they were going through, and he just told them, you want to fix the world, you got to fix yourself. Because that's the key to it all. Well, Nick, uh, you mentioned the VVAW, uh, and it, was it in uh, Kenosha? You said, or? yeah, right after uh, right after Kent State. Of course, uh, we all started going crazy. We helped uh, shut down the Parkside campus there, and then I started talking to some uh, some friends of mine that I'd known for all through school who uh, were in Vietnam. I, I fortunately was in Okinawa, and I was in a, you know. Uh, under, in supply supporting the war uh, at that time. And uh, so I started talking to my buddies and said, hey, you know, you guys can't, you can't do anything there. So the best way to, to help our, our, our fellow uh, Marines and our fellow you know, comrades is to bring them home. I said, this is ridiculous. Uh, it's an impossible war. And that was the way to get through to them because, of course, they were so more gung, far more gung-ho than I at the time. Well, VVAW is a, a great organization. It's still around today, and uh, there is also now an Iraq Veterans Against the War. Uh, so the anti-war movement uh, still is out there doing a lot of stuff, and actually there is a good amount of opportunity. Uh, there's uh, two wars that our, our, our country is involved in right now, probably a lot more if we really think about what we're doing. Uh, and we'll get to maybe talk about that a little bit later when Talmadge Wright comes up and we talk about the current state of the Obama administration. But uh, you've taken it a, a step further. You, uh, as an actor, you uh, clearly are interested in film and drama, and uh, uh, you put together this film festival. Uh, how did you get the word out, and then uh, how 
what did you get back? You were telling me a little bit earlier there's a hundred and some odd films, and some were real high quality, some we were maybe shot with a phone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was uh, very interesting, yeah, because we, in fact, uh, we had a couple of very, very high quality films that we just couldn't use because the, the, the filmmaker didn't, really didn't know how to edit. He didn't know how to cut out the waste. And there were other films that uh, you swear were shot with a, with a cell phone but really had a story. And, uh, and obviously, we, you know, we found a good deal of films in between the two. But, uh, you know, uh, the idea of, um, of the festival is not about anti-war. It's really, even though that's, that's a major segment that draws people together in this peace movement, but it's really about what disrupts the individual and how does that, if it disrupts your life and you become angry, then you, your family has feels that anger, then the neighbor feels the anger, and before you know it, this escalates into a consciousness of, 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 of wanting to hurt, wanting to harm. It, it, it escalates into a consciousness of the violence we see in the schools, uh, the, the, the great violence we see in this city. So uh, we also see the festival as a creating a culture of peace that uh, hopefully will not only sweep through the city, but, but sweep through the country and around the world. Well, the, you know, when you go to your website, which is the Peace and Justice Film Festival dot org, I believe. A Peace on Earth Film peace Festival Earth. dot org. I keep, I I'm apologize. Sorry. I keep doing that. I'm so used to saying peace and justice. I want to get to the place where it's, we're talking peace on earth. Uh, so, but the, uh, it's Peace on Earth Film Festival dot org. Yes. Uh, but I think the reason why you, you go to the uh, and justice is because our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> our, um, our motto or our, um, our slogan is uh, raising uh, consciousness of peace, nonviolence, social justice, and an eco-balanced world. Well, they're definitely all connected. And uh, I, I use the term comprehensive consciousness, which in includes anything you want to put in there. Yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about some of the films. Um, what's your favorite film? If you can, uh, maybe as a, in your position as the director of this film festival, you can't say, but... Uh, right off the top of your head, what are a few of the, your top, top films in the festival? Well, one of my top films, uh, and a, as it turned out, didn't come into the festival until near the end when we finally were able to find some room for it. Because as, as one of the reviewers, one of the four reviewers, it was my favorite film because it does have to do with war. And uh, it's called The Good Soldier. And it's really based in what is a good soldier. We're trained to do certain things, and then, then, then you go into war, and you discover that what you're really trained to do is to kill. And then it, it covers, uh, it covers uh, a vet from Vietnam, a vet from uh, World War II, a vet from Korea, Iraq, and, and currently uh, Afghanistan. And, 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 and they follow these, these guys, and they, they talk to them. And uh, you discover the revelations that they found out of what a good soldier is really about. Uh, and then how about another film? <laughs> Colors is my absolute favorite. It's only a, a it's little over three minutes. And you can see the it's trailer the one on with the website. The, kids. the one with the kids. It's shot in Italy, and it's preschoolers. And uh, it's the first day that a, a young, young boy of color comes to the school, and how uh, he and a young uh, white boy befriend each other. and, and um, the discoveries that go on, the innocent discoveries of children uh, in trying to bridge what appears to be difference.